Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yisrael and welcome to the Mega Minion deck. I've given it one tweak since the last episode. I got rid of one of the Shadow Word Pains and replaced it with a Silence that came out of a pack I bought with gold. Principal reasoning is that, well, to be honest, Silence and Shadow Word Pain kind of have the same job. They're for getting rid of taunts and clearing the way for the Mega Minion to get straight to the enemy's character. The difference is, of course, that Silence is zero mana, so I can pull it out without having to worry about cost. Shadow Word Pain, of course, is a little more flexible, but it only works on targets with three or less attack. So against something like a Stengin Shieldmaster or a... Excuse me, Mogoshan Warden, it is absolutely fine. Against anything like, say, Lord of the Arena in the late game, eh, well, you might as well use harsh language for the effect it's gonna have. Anyhow, let's get into the game. Play and ranked. Let's see, can I make rank 17? Am I still a scrub? No to the first, yes to the second. Why am I even bothering to ask? Spin the spinny thing. Right, a hunter. Right, so given the current metagame, which rolls heavy round Unleash the Hounds at about turn four, with a couple of buzzards and or hyenas to amp them up in a quick fashion, I'm going to hang on to Holy Nova, because that will let me shut him down if he goes for that play. Divine Spirit and Powered Shield I'll hang on to, the Mogashan Warden likewise, that's my core attack play. I can always use Powered Shield to mill the deck if I have to. And of course we get the coin as well. So what's he going to pull out? Yep, Golden Timberwolf, here we go. This is a wolf to the face deck most likely. So we'll start with pulling out a... We'll pull out the Light Warden. In the light's name. And then we'll coin and pull out Power Shield to reinforce it. Because I suspect what he'll try to pull out at this stage is a boar and then go for a 2 1 1 creature attack. He'd be trading off, but he would shut me down. The question is, is he going to be that aggressive? I doubt it now because he'd have to trade off the Timberwolf buff, but we shall see. The other problem is, of course, that until I'm sure I've shut down and unleashed the house, I don't want to get more than a couple of minions out because that will just hand him advantage after advantage. Mm -hmm. Now, is he blocked? Yes, I think he might be. He'll go straight for the end kill, like so. And that's my second Divine Spirit. Great, I just need Inner Fire or a Light Spawn at this stage, and I have my principal attack. Thanks, we'll shut nice. down his buff, and then heal Anduin, get maximum mileage for the healing. The Light Warden still gets the boost, and that is that. So I now have 3-3, three, three, early ball control, and he may be in a bit of trouble, except he isn't, because there comes kill command. On the bright side, at least he only has one of those left, and I have inner fire even better. We'll just heal up. So, next turn we'll get the Mogashon Warden out, see what he goes for. If he doesn't do too much damage, we'll go straight for the kill. If he was going for a blitz, yeah, there goes the scavenging hyena. Okay, and two damage. Now, if I pop the warden this turn, he'll have to run the hyena into it. He may choose to hold off until he's amped the hyena up. It would only take one damage from the warden, so he could turn it into a two-one. Or I could delay a turn, pull out the light well. Again, he goes for the end run on my priest. He, the light well heals it, but again, it depends on what he pops out on turn five because this could get problematic. <sighs> I may be overthinking this. We'll pull up the light well because to get the one shot, you really do need the warden at maximum health to get the biggest benefit. And then we'll just heal Anduin again, back up to 30 armor to the early damage. Swing that round. I've still got the Holy Nova if he decides to pop anything tricky. If he pulls out a second hyena, for example. Okay. Right, so I made the right decision in holding off the warden. 
which is scant comfort because I now have to consider how to get rid of a 4-4 and a 4-3 in short order. Well, the obvious choice at this point is going to be the Booty Bay Bodyguard. That will get rid of the Houndmaster. <sighs> I must consider... Or I could put in the Sentient Shieldmaster, which will kill off the Houndmaster and force him to go like that. So, right, so, turn over at this stage. If I then, he then pulls the Houndmaster into the Sentient and trades it, or he just pulls in the Sentient Hyena, takes it down to a 4-1. Either way, he can't do what he'd do with the Goblin and kill it outright. Why did I even open my mouth? Well, if that's his second kill command goal. Unfortunately, I have just swallowed eight damage, so that's getting a little bit dicey. Right, holy fire. Turn six. Would remove his hyena, would let me counter the worst of the damage. I could then get the booty bay bodyguard out, tempt him to trade the houndmaster, and then try to get the mogashan into play in Tanked. Yes, let's do that in the bonus healing's not a bad idea either. So his tank's gone, I'm back up to 25. Unfortunately, he now still has free reign with the Houndmaster, and he's got four cards to play with going into turn seven. He's going to start getting some big beasties out. I need something. Probably the Mogashan. No, the Booty Bay Bodyguard next turn. Mogashan the turn after that, depending what he goes for. Oh god, here comes the Blitz. This is going to hurt. So, two and six and eight, because of course the hyena now has charge, right? Perfect, Lord of the Arena, even better than the Booty Bay, because it's got the advantages of both. So, let's just shove that okay. out fast. He is going to have to trade at least two of his creatures. That promise he's probably going to pull out more beasts. He's probably going to pull out Unleash the Hounds at this stage, which don't give him one, but it's extra damage. Actually, no, scrap that. He won't say he's only got the one hand from that card as things stand. Uh, I need to be careful. If he's sitting on the core hound going into turn nine, this is going to get very, very dicey indeed. So, what are we going to do? Trade the... He's going to trade the raptor and the crocolisk and amp up the hyena. Ye gods, that was horrid. They both have charge. Trade one. And trade two. Hyena is now very nasty. I have to think about how the hell I'm going to survive the next turn. Right. Oh, I doubt it somehow. I really, really doubt it. Um, okay. Holy Nova. That would not kill anything. Booty Bay Bodyguard. Right. Does he have Deadly Shot? Okay, this is dicey as hell, but I'm gonna go for it. Pull out the Mogashan. Pull out the Divine Spirit. In a fire, so it's suddenly a 14-14 monster that he's staring at. And now I think I have got a contingency. If he has got something nasty in his deck, however, he could still cause me trouble. He'll suicide. The Rhino. No, he's got Arcane shot in reserve. Hasn't he? No, he hasn't. Okay, that's an interesting sequence. I would have traded the Rhino first. Then again, we all make mistakes. Okay. Turn over. Right. Options, options, options. Nine points of mana to work with. So let's get the Lord of Arena out as a second okay. defense. Oh. Heal Anduin, desperately bring it back from the brink, and then end run there. Now he's got six damage, unless he pulls something else out with a beast. He still has to get to my Lord of the Arena, however. And I have got a second inner fire somewhere in the deck. This is not a total disaster, but it's not going according to plan either. Okay, there comes Unleash the House. This is why I'm surprised he wasted the hyena. Multi-shot gives me 
Okay, so he trades off there, trades off there, loses one, and then I'm down to two, and then he cards me to kill. Damn it! Oh well, it was closer than I thought it was going to be a few turns back. God, I hate hunters. So, not the best opening to that round. Mostly because I never quite had ball control. This is a problem with the Mega Minion deck. You need to be able to get something like the Mogashan out and into play because nothing I have really has charge. So, let's try again. That wasn't the disaster it could have been, but I should have killed off his Houndmaster. Mind you, if he pulled out Unleashed Hounds, would that have made a difference? No, it would have been the same disaster, just in a different sequence. Yeah. And a note to Blizzard, could you perhaps make well played for the Hunter Stand a little less condescending? Someone used that term to me in life, I'd be considering physical violence. Oh god, another Hunter. Right, same as before. So I'm going first, right, so... Same drugs before, Mulligan the Light Warden, and hope like hell we can get something out for the early game. Yeah, that's... Perfect. Actually, that was a light spawn I swapped, wasn't it? Okay, too many things called light in this deck. So, standard opener. In the light, me. And hang on for a second. We'll see what he goes for. If he decides to pop out something with one attack, we can abuse the light one. He hasn't. So we'll just go for a punch to the face and then hang off because there's really nothing useful to do at this stage besides that. So what are you waiting for? A direwolf alpha, right. Second light warden. Now the thing is, he can kill the light warden off in one shot, there's no question about that. I could Divine Spirit up to allow it to survive, but then I would have to... No, that wouldn't work, because it would come down to 1-2 on the attack, and then he'd kill it again, it would simply turn it into a trade. So, we will pull out the second Light Warden, and again... Let's go for the end run, because I can go for the trade next turn. Because he'll use the Die Wolf to kill off one of these guys. He may even just go for the end run and keep it handy as a buff creature. You never know. What's he going to pull out an Iron Fur Grizzly? Okay. And now that's an end run. Okay, so now I have a small problem. Because that Grizzly is a 4-3. I have no way of disposing of it. So we're going to have to get the Warden out as insurance. <sighs> Unfortunately, my options are now limited. If I sacrifice the Light Wardens, it will do the square root of sod so end turn. Uh, this is where silence or something similar would come in handy. He's coined what's he about to pull out. Five mana. Stampede and Kodo. Okay, and it's back over to... Phew, thank god. If that could have hit my Mogashan, it would have been very awkward indeed. Direwolf goes for the shot. Unfortunately for him, that's not going to kill it. And I can then abuse healing to get the... Light Warden up. I don't have to. Ha huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Pull out the... This is going to be a trade-off anyway. We'll pull out the Holy Smite and whack his Direwolf Alpha. That then stops the Kodo from getting the buff. We will heal that. Light Warden then gets a boost. Face the light. Run it in to get rid of his tank and then make another end run. So turn six, Lord of the Arena, I think. The ogre probably wouldn't survive. And if I get an inner fire, I can start mucking up the ogres instead of the oh dear god. And now he is going just start the beat down right. Holy fire would be handy. Well, there's the inner fire, so that's one part of what I need. Let's... Hmm. If I pull out the Lord of the Arena, he'll simply beat it down. If I pull out the 
Boulder Fist Ogre. He might be tempted to trade, but I might also tempt him into going for an end run and leaving the Ogre intact, which would allow me to start having some fun with it next turn. Okay, let's give let's do something apparently. Soon. Let's give him the bait, the Boulder Fist Ogre. So tempt him with an end run onto my priest and see if he goes for it. Because the idea of doing 3, 4, 7 damage there, as opposed to just trading off all his creatures, might be too much to resist. Or he might just pull out a second taunt, in which case I'm in even more trouble. So. Oh. Uh, yeah, he's... looks... oh no, he's not lying at the end run, so trades once. Hyena comes in, he could trade the... oh dear. Right, what could that be? Snakes, most likely. And I think we're going to see an end run at this stage. Yep, yeah, that's one and two. <sighs> okay. So, as per plan, pull out the North okay. Theory, which gives me the defensive support. And what's he just done? Well, I suppose it's good for one minion. And I've only got one mana left, so my options are now exceptionally limited. If I'd had the ability to get rid of that Timberwolf. Problem is, okay, let's think about this a second. I hit the Timberwolf. He suicides his now rather ubered up higher into my Lord of the Arena, that's a mutual trade, or he suicides the Grizzly and then goes for the end run with the now, what will it be? 7-4 Hyena. Or I suicide the Ogre into the Grizzly, it gets up to 8-4, goes up to, yeah, 7-4 again, 6-4-4-4. Yep. Okay, let's get must attack that minion with taunt. Oh wait, I don't have a choice, do I? To which I believe the expression is balls. Well let's do it. And then turn. Uh Right, so Nope! He's just going to go for that, which is a complete pisser. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Right, okay. So. Mogashan. Again, this is desperate defensive move. We'll amp it up. And then give it in a fire. Just make it clear that you are not going through this without some difficulty. You wait, he pulls out deadly shot this turn. And just frags it. Because you can still make the kill, which is annoying. Yes! Told you! Deadly shot! And I'm dead. Ugh. Eight. Seven. Dead. Ugh. Could I have done it any differently? Answers in the comments section, please. And let's go for a third one. This set was winning off camera, which is rather annoying. Anyhow. Do, 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 do. Right. Well, it's a mage, so what are we going to be getting? Polymorphs and fireballs for the most part. At least I've got the core of the attack as before. We will mulligan the ogre, see what comes out. I'm starting to wonder if those light wardens should be replaced. Oh, excellent! That gives me a turn four blitz if I so Hello? desire. And there's no harm in being polite. Greetings. Okay, what are you going to pop on turn one? Mirror image? Yeah, thought so. Okay, what am I going to get on turn one? Holy Nova. Right. Pass for the moment. 
I've got nothing u really useful in turn one anyway. <sighs> now the problem is that. Someday I'll be just like you. Okay, you have got to go. And now it gives me a boulder fist. That's even less use. Ugh. I need something. I need something usable. Come on, game. Give me a usable card. She's getting way too much momentum up. Holy Nova at this stage, I think it's going to have to be the turn four option with the coin. I didn't really want Someday to delay the plans. Like Definitely get rid of the Sorcerer's Apprentices now because I'm not having that beat down and casting deck get into gear. Right, so turn three, I need to put up with this for another turn. Or do I? Um, yeah, we'll just heal on this one. Endure the worst of it. The worst they can pop out at this stage is Fireball. However, I will have swallowed six damage. On the bright side, I'll be able to heal some of it back. Okay, so no Fireball as yet. What else have you got up your sleeve? Right. There we go. Okay, right. Coin time. Holy Nova and shut this down. Had enough. Right, okay, that's got some parity back. Next turn, Mogashan Warden and Power Word well Shield played. to mill the deck. I didn't have a lot of choice, I had nothing else to work with. Right, so is that a I have no mana and no usable cards left? Anymore? Yes, it is! Excellent! So, pop out the Mogashan and we'll amp it up on the quiet. Which gives me Overspark. Now I'm baiting Polymorph here. Yeah. May decide it's not worth it. May decide. Excellent, good. They've taken the bait. Now, are you just going to Fire Blast Anduin or are you going to realize what I'm setting up for? Arcane Missiles. Two, three, okay, that could have been worse. And three damage to capture and freeze it. Bam, that's the Mogashan temporarily out of play. Okay. Could pull out a Boulder Fist Ogre and just give it the same treatment. Again, amp it up. He'd have to use the Mana Worm. Even amped up, the Mana Worm would have to be used to dispose of. Must consider the Mogashan Warden. Again, the Boulder Fist is 7 health, so wrapped up with Divine Spirit and Defy it still be 14. Or I could pull out the Booty Bay Bodyguard and get a Holy Smite into the Worm, which doesn't really help matters. On the other hand, it would knock it down to 1 health. It's... No, we'll get the Ogre out. I could always... Pop Holy Smite as part of the next turn's attack combo. So, what are you going to go for? Probably Polymorph the Ogre, boost the Worm up again. No, that's. Oh, right, okay, so that's a spell as well, is it? Right, so that will kill off the Mogashan. Come on. You're thinking about it, is you? I know you are. Have you got something else in reserve? What were in those cards you pulled? Du, 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 du. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Yeah, mm, indeed. Come on, it's not even going to be a trade. You can just clear my taunt away with one shot. The question is, what else have you got in reserve on that deck? Okay, well, I can't have that 5-2 running around any longer, so it's got to go, which means the Holy Smite comes out, and away you go. We'll heal the Ogre back up, and... Can I pull over Spark out without using his battle cry? Because at the moment, that's all I can really do at this stage. Well, let's try it. No. Cancel the play. 
pity. I don't think I can turn the him into a devil sore either. Anyhow, unfortunately I have just tipped my hand about what he can expect. So he knows I'm sitting on overspark. Does give me taunt removal if I need it. However, at this point, eight mana next turn. What to you do? require my assistance. Holy hell! Unlimited fireballs! Right, I'm sorry, Antonidas has got to go. So glad I hung on to Overspark. Right then. Okay, okay, okay. So Antonidas goes for three. Squeak. Five mana left. Okay. So let's shut down. You have no idea what I'm about to pull out, Missy. Shut down the worm before that gets any further out of hand. Like so. And then we'll start the rampage. Again, tempting polymorph here. But a big hit like that is just too nice to pass up. And now he has got to deal with that ogre next turn. So glad that came up as the squirrel. Here comes the polymorph. No! Okay, listen, do you not have a sheep to work with? Arcane Internet milling the deck again. And an end run with the squirrel, because hey, why not? So I've got another boulder fist ogre to work with and nine points. Okay, we'll pop. My magic will tear you apart. Really? Okay, so let's pop the, the Light Warden. Pop out the booty bait to secure the ogre for a bit, and then heal the ogre, gets back up to 40 health, and boosts the Light Warden as well. Right, so I think I've got this one. Unless he pulls out something outrageous. Okay, so you know full I'm simply going to dispose of us. Well, that's a bit of a bummer, but doesn't really help matters because I don't think you've got anything left to get rid of the ogre. Marks for trying though. Did you just get hand blocked and not have a sheep to work with? Oh. Oh, of course, I can't go for the kill, can I? Right, so, pull out the defensive okay. taunt oh. again. Powered shield. And a light spawn. So, smashy mirror image. Very definition of overkill. Heal up the ogre again. And hope. He's playing a delaying game. He's hoping for a sheep. Still in a good position, but the longer this goes on, the more likely I am to have a rather high-powered and expensive sheep in my board instead of that ogre. As it is, next turn... Well, we'll see. Holy Fire and Lightspawn, if nothing else, comes up, I think. Okay, there goes a fireball, so he gets rid of my Lord of the Arena. Still got six mana to work with. Probably a nice block. As a stalling move. And again, just going for the beatdown. So. Holy Fire will let me heal and lets me get rid of this... So, we'll go for that. Definition of overkill. And then risk it. Well, I don't know what that secret was, but it didn't help matters. Well, at least I got one win. So, back up to halfway through rank 18. I was very lucky that wasn't a vaporize, and I was very lucky he wasn't able to pull a sheep out at some point in that game. But a win's a win, ladies and gentlemen. I am Yusuf. That has been part five of the Mega Minion deck. 
Didn't really get a chance to test out the new change, unfortunately, so that will have to wait until the next episode. Farewell!